Hi everyone, it's Eivind Martinsen here and welcome to the book module in Adobe Lightroom. It's a fantastic tool. We can create uh, our books from the editing software Adobe Lightroom and we can use the system they have set up in collaboration with the Blurb company. And for those of you who don't know anything about the Blurb company, they are very innovative and they have come up with a lot of good solutions for publishing and distributing your book. So let's um, first go to the overall view here. And uh, we are now in the book module here in Adobe Lightroom. So it's a very good tool we're going to take a look into now. But first we're going to learn a little bit about the Blurb company. So we can go here click on learn more then we come into the blurb.com page and here we can see we have uh, different options for for example photo books the photo books here are in different sizes six different sizes you have six different papers depending on the the quality you want and three cover types so it's uh, many options here and uh, there are also very good solutions to create the book you can use uh, the Lightroom version or you can do it with the tools they have here on uh, blurb so you see here is the Lightroom version or you can use other uh, tools and templates you can sell and distribute and here they have really take it to a new level because you can now sell it on uh, blur bookstore they have an internal store so you can uh, sell your book directly as a print on demand book and this is really good. You can sell your book through Amazon and other distributors. And this is a very new option and it's really going to rock the photo book business. So I think everyone has to adapt to the new situation. And you can also distribute your ebooks. So let's say let's take a look at the Amazon solution. So you just uh, can have both print on demand or you can have volume printing for the Amazon.com distribution. So you need an uh, ISBN code. So that's a code uh, to identify a book and uh, it's a really huge market at amazon.com most people buy books from amazon.com and uh, this can be a really good potential for you so this is a new world and it's e easy to get online and sell your book and here we can compare the different uh, solutions we have uh, distribution options and we have the blurb system we have amazon we have ingram and ibooks and here we can see what types of book each solutions have see the tool you can use and the distribution and the payment system here You can also go to um, go to the bottom here and read more about, uh, for example, volume printing or large order services. So if you want, let's say, to make 2000 books, you can ask for a special price and uh, you will have uh, an offer and you can start producing your book. 
So here we can get in touch, fill in the form here and get the price. For example, this book here about racing pilots. So it's for sale and it's uh, 1600 copies and the pricing is $20 per copy, not so bad. And compared to $113.99 for a single copy. So I think uh, this open up, uh, opens up new opportunities for us photographers and you can produce a local book or you can produce a global book and uh, these are new tools you no longer have to go to a publishing company and uh, be turned down again and again now you can do it yourself of course you have to have quality in your work both in the images and uh, the texts but these are really amazing new options so you can get out of the shadow very quickly with, uh, with this solution. So let's go back to Adobe Lightroom. You can go to blurb.com and read more when you have the time and uh, find a solution that will suit your project. So we close down this internet side. We are back in Adobe Lightroom. Here is the module built in in Adobe Lightroom and here we have the templates. I have a collection of images. I made a collection in uh, the library module and you can see them here, down here on the film strip. And uh, we can now start uh, working. Up here you see we are connected to Blurb. I have a standard landscape book. It's um, 25 by 20 centimeters. You can select from other sizes too. I have a hardcover image wrap, but you can select other soft cover, hardcover with dust jacket, or just hardcover image wrap. You can choose the paper. So they have these uh, options. So I can uh, just for now select this one. And uh, you have the logo page, that's the Blurb logo. So if you use uh, with the logo page, then you get uh, discounted prices. But without, uh, it's a little bit more expensive. So I'll just leave it there. You see now Blurb has calculated $40.99 for this book so far. It will, of course, increase when I add more pages here in this here and we can go down here here is the page number if you check that and you can select where you want the page numbers now I have them in the bottom corner so you can see the numbers are here if you want uh, to apply a background globally you can select it here you can take a picture drag and drop it in here if you want that and you let's uh, do a test here if I put in um, this one so you see it will be a background here and you can select the opacity of it look at the image there how much you want it's up to you what you want to do so you are the boss if you want to remove this you can just right click on it and remove photo so let's start up here we have uh, the front cover and the back cover so I'll take this a little bit up there and then we can start with the front cover I click from here drag and drop right in here and see here it's a menu you can select this one this is the one I use now 
or you can use uh, combination with uh, vertical images for example with text on both the front cover and the back cover and other solutions down here you can have smaller images square images you can have a film strip with text so there are many solutions here you can have the mosaic with several small images on the back cover on the front cover can be interesting um, here you can have one large image with text you can have uh, the um, square image on the back cover with text below so you have to select one that uh, you like and that suits your project if you go back here you see now I can see the whole picture so I can go to the zoom here I can zoom in or out here let's say I leave it there and I want a back cover I can put uh, another put in a landscape here same here I can zoom in if I want to see this in a larger format I can click on this one down here let's go back to the icons we can see the whole book and let's start with page one so I can put in one image of the slot click here I can zoom in and let's put in one of the anteater zoom in We can put in one of the monkey. See now we have to zoom in. And see here you can also select different solutions here. That maybe suits a vertical composition better. Maybe we can combine it with text. Let's say we do it like this. Then we have the image and you can put text here. Then you can explain about this animal for example where it is and a lot of other information so it's a very good solution we can have both text and images let's take a look at this we have different option different options here too we can go and select one of these let's say one here with the image on top and with the text below so it's up to you just uh, play with it you can select here with one photo you can select more uh, templates with two photos you see here or you can add three photos on one side combined with text There's so many good possibilities here four photos multiple photos you have two page spreads you have See, we can have one image over two pages. We can have clean text pages. So this is new options for us. We can both do photography work and we can write in the blur module. Before it was a little bit more limited when it came to how much text you could have, but now we have more combinations. We can have a clean, only photos creatives portfolio if you want to present your work you can maybe use one of these write about your images or travel or wedding module so let's fill in more images we can put in the snake here oh that's not so bad zoom it in a little bit maybe it could be something like that and the parrots and we zoom it in so there are many many options here 
And now if I want to add a page, I can just click here on the page, add, and I have more pages here. So you can just adapt to how many images you want in your project. You put in the frogs, put in the croc, now we can put in the monkey. You can have a monkey, oh. yeah, of course. What's happening here? It's not going in. Okay, let's see. There we go. We can add one more page. And we can add uh, the monkey. Select another. We can have this uh, put in a landscape image if we want from the rainforest. We can zoom it in. If we want to add a couple of more, we can do one more page and we can add uh, the Embera Indian. And we can add a last one with the snorkeling in Panama. Uh, zoom in there we go now we have uh, more pages of course this is an ad unedited book so far um, but it gives you an idea on how you can work and uh, we can see now we have a project you can uh, change it once you have uh, uploaded your images, you can always go back and change how the appearance will be. So you can change to, to have text in addition. And if you want to have text, you can click here. And then it's wise to go to a larger format. So you can, to see what you're writing, you can go down here. Then we can start write, uh, for example, um, Northern Tamandua Ant Eater in the rainforest of oh, Panama, and so on. You can write uh, more, of course, and um, but this is an option, and you can also. Add more text down here if you like. So there are many good good options here for working on uh, the text. And here you can change the on the type, change the fonts. You can change the size of the text. If we go up here, so we can change uh, the size. If you want a big headline or a smaller and more text, and you can also select the opacity. For text, it's better to have no full 100% uh, because otherwise it will be hard to read. So let's go back to the module and we take an overview here. So when everything is finished, you can either export the book to a PDF so you can print it uh, and take an overview and edit and uh, put marks on where you want to do some changes. Or when your book is uh, ready and you think it's ready for printing, you can then uh, upload it to the blurb. Now we have the price here and we can send the book to blurb here. Send it a blurb and it will be printed and you can print as many as you want or you can uh, connect it with uh, the other options for uh, the uh, production, sales and distribution that you can read about at the blurb.com page. So this is a wonderful new solutions in this uh, new world. So I hope you will enjoy 
using this solution and that it can bring you better business because uh, it's no better way than a book to showcase your work and get your visions out so people can see the, the work and you can communicate the nature, nature in a better way to other people so wonderful new solutions you don't have to go to a publisher anymore you can do it yourself and that opens up for more freedom and more business so just go ahead learn the system and do it and uh, then uh, I hope uh, some of you will uh, publish uh, your work and uh, make money on it so thank you for being with me in this video and I see you soon in the next